James, how does it feel to be here for the premiere of Casa Grande? So good. I, this is really um, a labor of love for me. Uh, when I read the scripts, uh, I was so excited to be part of it. Uh, and I was so afraid that it may not be good. Uh, I didn't want to get my heart broken. And so I couldn't wait to watch the episodes. And I got to say, they're better than I had hoped. I just found myself as an audience member just keeping clicking on the next episode wanting to know what happened even though I knew it was going to happen I'd read the scripts but I just thought that the acting was so good Gabriella did such a good job directing producing was so good I think it it looks like a big ticket production uh, and I I couldn't be more proud of it um, yeah so how was this production different from the others that you've worked on in the past well you know that's a really good question because what I expected to happen was to have a hard shoot uh, because we didn't we had a schedule we had to get a lot done every day and those can be kind of stressful and I didn't find that to be true at all I found it to be a very relaxed uh, atmosphere primarily because we had a really confident director in Gabriella uh, and we were just basically having fun it was kind of too good to be true. And there's a maxim. When you have too much fun on set, it usually doesn't work. And so, like, I had so much fun. I was like, oh, this can't, it can't be true. It can't be true. And then I watched it, and it was actually as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah. I want to ask a fun question. Before we let go, if they're ever, they're always rebooting TV shows and, you know, train them into movies. If they ever ask you to return to Buffy, would you ever do it as an older character now and really more knowledgeable into the role? The problem is is that Spike's a vampire and I'm not. <laughs> so like the only the only good scene for Spike to come back would be going like, oh Buffy, you look tired. What happened to you? You know? And but he looks exactly like he did before. That's the only like Spike looks good for his age. It's just not yeah. where you want to be. So if if I was to ever do the character again live, uh, I guess I would have to be in vamp face the whole time. That would work. Or spend half the budget on computer effects to make me look like I used to look, I guess. Um, but all the rest of the cast could do it. You know, there was a project pre-COVID that looked like it was going to get off the ground where uh, um, they were going to have a new Slayer for a new generation and a new cast which I thought was a fabulous idea because there's a lot of demons and, that need to be slain. Uh, and, and I thought that that was the way to go, frankly. And I hope, I think COVID kind of sidelined that and I hope that they can get it back together because I think that it would, I think it would fly really well. I agree with you. You've yeah. always done amazing work in every project that you do. This one's no exception. Thank you for stopping with us. Really appreciate it. Bye.